the healthcare sector was the best performing group in the stock market in 2018. And this year, the industry witnessed a number of medical breakthroughs, including treatments for hemophilia, the inherited bleeding disorder. Meg Terrell has our latest installment of Modern Medicine. James Addy has lived his whole life with hemophilia, an inherited bleeding disorder that causes severe joint damage. I got so bad that my left knee wouldn't hold my weight anymore, so I've had that and both hips replaced. Early treatment with contaminated blood products left him with HIV, common among those his age with hemophilia. Newer treatments help prevent bleeds, but must be taken by infusion every few days. But it is pretty onerous um, to think about um, sort of finding a vein and doing this as part of your routine a couple of times a week. Four months ago, Addy got the chance to try something potentially life-changing, a clinical trial of a gene therapy for hemophilia. The treatment uses a virus to deliver a healthy copy of a gene to make up for the one that causes the bleeding disorder. The goal, fix the problem with just one treatment. Gene therapies are in development for hemophilia at biotech companies Biomarin and Spark Therapeutics, Sangamo, Unicure, and drug giant Pfizer. Addy flew to the University of Michigan for the therapy, which is being developed by Biomarin. He says his goal is to help more than just himself. This is Andrew Michael, and he is two months old. Addy's grandson also has hemophilia. His daughter was pregnant when Addy joined the trial. He says, well, Daddy, you might actually be the cure for your grandson. You know, so she goes, that's pretty cool. A month after his treatment, Addy says his level of clotting factor, a key measure of the disease, rose to 10 or 12 percent of normal, from close to zero. A few weeks later, it was up to 50 percent. It's actually got up to 147 at one point. He no longer has to have infusion treatment. We're just tickle pink. <laughs> uh, so happy and uh, so happy for him that he um, he doesn't have to take shots anymore. For Dr. Catherine McGuinn, director of the Hemophilia Treatment Center at Weill Cornell, gene therapies could mark a transformation in how to treat the disease. The hope is with gene therapy is that we can get people to that place where hemophilia is not something that they wake up in the morning and think about first thing. There are still questions. How long will the treatment last? And how much will it cost? Gene therapy is a one-time treatment all of the cost of the therapy has to be paid upon that treatment. It's a different paradigm than what is typically um, seen in the pharmaceutical industry today. Current treatment can range from $100,000 to more than a million dollars for each patient per year. The companies are trying to figure out how to capture that value in the price of the gene therapies. The prices that we typically hear are on the order of about a million dollars uh, per patient. A million dollar drug might raise eyebrows and political backlash, but to James Addy, it's reasonable. Looking at it as an insurance company, I would think it would be a, a good deal for them. And if it results in a better life for his grandson, it's hard to put a price on that. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.